All right, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Pokemon, and I'm back with another MetaZoo video. I know it's been quite some time, but here we are. It's good to be back with you guys, but unfortunately, not good news today. So we do have a major update. I'm sure you guys saw the uh, the thumbnail, which was unfortunately not clickbait. That's a real picture, and we're going to talk about the origins of that picture in this video. But MetaZoo, officially in the dumpster. What does that mean? So... I was sent today, and we're going to keep this source anonymous. I was sent today a picture in my email of pallets and pallets of sealed MetaZoo cases in a dumpster, which obviously is kind of alarming, kind of unusual, kind of weird. And the explanation that I was given for these pallets is that allegedly uh, Shaw who still remains at MetaZoo while whatever is happening is happening, while the company dissolves or goes into bankruptcy or whatever, he's still there. And allegedly, Shaw is just throwing away cases and cases, pallets and pallets of sealed MetaZoo. And apparently, the reason he's doing this is because while MetaZoo is in this process, the product can't be sold and it's not worth it to him. It's not even worth the space, paying for the space to store all that product. So he's just throwing it away so he can use that space for something else. So very dark times for MetaZoo. Obviously, you know, what did we expect? Did we expect some, you know, crazy positive news that really changed the narrative? Not really. And here we are, you know, a couple months now removed from the big announcement that MetaZoo was done. Um, and it looks like there's not very many signs of uh, of it possibly coming back. You know, like I said in previous videos, I'd heard some rumors of interested parties wanting to buy the company, wanting to rebrand the company. Um, Bandai was in that conversation. There's a card. Uh, car, there's a company that developed the online client that was in that conversation. Um, I saw someone even make a video about Steve Aoki and sports card inv investor potentially picking up MetaZoo and trying to rebrand it. I don't think any of those things look like they're likely to happen. We still don't have any information on the status of MetaZoo as far as have they filed for bankruptcy? Are they in the process? What's going on? But we know, or at least it was alleged by the person that sent me this picture, that MetaZoo currently cannot sell any product that they're holding on to, or somebody like Shaw with MetaZoo cannot currently sell what they're holding on to. And apparently, it's not even worth the space that it's taking up, so they're just throwing it away, um, which is odd. And the other thing here that kind of alarms me about these pictures is someone was there to take the pictures, and some of the cases in that dumpster looked opened. Now, I don't necessarily know that the person that sent me the picture was the person that threw them away. Um, so if you guys ever worked at a retail store before, I worked in retail when I was in college and you weren't supposed to, like the manager was supposed to tell you, yeah, you're not allowed to go to the dumpster and pick out that stuff that you throw away. But then they would kind of tell you, if you do it, just don't tell us. We don't want to know that you're doing it. But if you do it, you know, if you do it, it happens. So I would work at this store in the mall and sometimes we'd throw away retail displays. And for example, we would throw away things like um, when the new Star Wars first came out with Disney. That's when I was working there. And we would have these really cool Star Wars retail displays. And we'd change out the displays and put in new stuff. I would go to the dumpster, pick out the Star Wars stuff that we just threw away. And I would sell it on eBay because I know Star Wars has a huge fan base. And I thought the, the store display stuff was really cool. And that a Star Wars fan would probably want that in their Star Wars collection room. So I would go in the dumpster and just pick it up right after we threw it away. Um, and so what concerns me with this is, well, yes, Shaw might have to throw this stuff away because he can't sell it and just load up a dumpster with these pallets, but what's to stop other people that might know that he just threw them away, even though he can't sell them from going in, picking up what he just dumped in there and then them selling it onto the secondary market. It's not his problem, how they got access to it. If he threw it away and that's what he was supposed to do. And someone goes in there and picks it up because they knew he threw it away. That could happen. And the other thing, too, is we don't know what was in those things. When I zoomed into the picture as close as I could, all that I could see was the word spell books. I couldn't tell what set it was. If you guys can, let me know. We don't know if this is an unreleased set, if this is just like one of the sets that did terribly, so they've got a bunch of spell books, maybe like UFO or something. We really don't know what's in the cases. 
But there, we know there's a significant quantity. There's pallets of sealed cases, and we don't know if they're all spell books. We don't know what set they're from. So this stuff is likely, I would assume someone, if someone was there to take the picture, because again, I don't think the person that sent me the picture was the person that put them in the dumpster. If someone was there to take the picture, I think someone is also there to pick them out of that dumpster. So we might see a bunch of MetaZoo stuff hit the secondary market. I don't know, but the fact they're just throwing it in the dumpster by the pallet, not a good sign. I, I've actually been kind of surprised to see the prices for sealed product, um, in particular booster boxes, haven't really moved much. I know a lot of them are kind of pretty much down to rock bottom anyway, but a lot of the booster box prices are really just at the same number they were when the announcement was made months ago that MetaZoo was shutting down. And some of the prices are even higher than they were when that announcement was made. Like I think Nightfall now is a little bit higher than it was right after that announcement. I think first edition boxes are a little bit higher than it dropped down to right after that announcement. I think Kickstarter boxes are higher than they got down to right after that announcement. So I think I'm kind of surprised to see the prices holding on on some of these boxes. Like stuff like UFO and Wilderness, those are down to what they were back then, but it's like 20 bucks a box. So how much lower is it really going to go? I've seen people selling second edition boxes for as low as $15. Um, but then you got sets like Seance and Karomi and Native are still kind of hanging out in the $30 to $50 a box range. And they are moving slowly, but they are selling at that price. So it kind of surprises me that, you know, the prices haven't dipped more. And we're seeing stuff like this, you know, boxes, cases, pallets just being thrown in the dumpster by, allegedly, MetaZoo. You'd think that would drive the price down pretty significantly, especially if the secondary market gets flooded with Hopefully, you know, my hope for this is that if these do end up on the secondary market, that it's a set that we don't have yet. Maybe it's Legacy. Maybe it's Karomi. Maybe if you want to look at the glass half full, maybe that is what happened here. Maybe it is a set that we haven't gotten released. Maybe it was a pre-order set and this was intentionally put in a dumpster. Maybe some people were notified that it was in that dumpster as a way of it getting out onto the secondary market. That's a possibility too, because I really have a hard time believing that the the story here was just that it's not even worth the space that it's taking up. So we're just going to throw it all away. Why not burn it or why not give it away? I don't know. I don't know the rules with whatever's going on, but I kind of, I find a, I find it hard to believe that they want to just want to store that stuff until whatever happens happens. Um, so I don't know. I'm trying to look at it in an optimistic light and maybe whoever threw it away, threw it away with the intention of maybe some people find out that I threw it away and maybe somehow this product that the people didn't get ends up on the secondary market. So you could look at it that way, but I don't really want to look at anything with rose colored glasses when it comes to MetaZoo anymore, because that's done nothing but let me down in the past. But I do have other news for you guys today too. If you're interested, Karomi's cryptid carnival, the pink booster boxes, have been confirmed to exist and for some unbeknownst reason are being sold in five below stores across the country. I haven't checked my five below. There's one near my house. I haven't checked, but I've gotten messages from several different people who have found the pink booster box variation at their local five below in the booster box. I'm assuming they're selling them by the pack since five below is supposed to range from $1 to $5 per item. I'm assuming they're not selling booster boxes. I guess I could probably clarify that. They're not selling booster boxes for five bucks. But the full booster box is at five below, opened with the packs exposed. So I'm assuming they're selling it by the registers by the pack for maybe one to five dollars a pack. I don't know what the price point is per pack. I couldn't find them on the five below website. Maybe they just haven't updated it yet. I thought it was weird, but if this uh if this pink box it's more affiliated with Sanrio than MetaZoo. Like maybe this was something that Sanrio had printed. That could be the reason why, because if you look at Five Below's website, there's a ton of Hello Kitty, Karomi, like all kinds of Sanrio stuff that's already being sold at Five Below. So maybe the uh, distribution that handles Sanrio, maybe not necessarily MetaZoo, but handles Sanrio stuff said, hey, we've got all this you know, these Hello Kitty trading cards. We're trying to get rid of them. You want to sell them at five below. But apparently that's where you can find them. So kind of odd, but it's also been confirmed by people that have bought those packs and boxes that there are alternate art cards in that box, like this My Melody, and there's alternate numbers. So like the set itself is numbered differently. This My Melody alternate art card would be number 11, but number 11 in the set that we already have in the regular boxes 
is the Chibi Rose Robinson card. So not only are there different artworks of different characters, but the set for the pink boxes is kind of a different set entirely because it's numbered actually differently than the regular boxes that we're used to getting. So that's kind of interesting too. But the pink boxes have been confirmed. Kind of weird. Five below if you want one. I would not I would not go out and pay $5 a pack if that's what they're asking. But apparently you can find the pink Karomi boxes in five below. And uh, we will. I will be doing some streams soon. I know it's been a while. My birthday is the beginning of May, the beginning of next month. So I'm going to have my friends over. We're going to do a big birthday stream like we usually do every year. So you guys can look forward to that if you guys want to subscribe for a big birthday stream. I've been opening you know, boxes of, of Karomi because I've been buying them for so cheap just randomly off camera when I want to kill time. And I haven't been pulling anything good. So I'm going to I'm gonna maybe get a Kickstarter box to open for my birthday, open some Karomi, um, open some Topps Chrome, stuff like that. I think that would be fun. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below about all this um, Meta Zoo in the dumpster. What does it mean? Is it good, bad? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Nick Strength and Pokemon, signing out.